We are dialing up a smooth operator in this episode as we make a call to the future with the Solana Saga mobile phone. Solana started as a cryptocurrency, then it transformed the NFT play-to-earn gaming space, and now they're revolutionizing the mobile phone industry with the Solana Saga cell phone. It's a revolutionary new device that utilizes the power of blockchain technology to deliver an unparalleled user experience. It has an integrated hardware blockchain wallet so you can send and receive cryptocurrency right from your phone. Interact, distribute, and even create your very own decentralized applications right from the cell phone. In short, it's the first of its kind Web3 phone. Now, what really roosts this Funnicles caboose about the Solana cell phone is the idea that we could potentially cut the cord with our cell phone providers in the future, which is really exciting. We could use decentralized applications built on Web3 instead of having to use a cell phone plan. Just bop from Wi-Fi to Wi-Fi. I've got Wi-Fi at my home. I've got Wi-Fi at work. There's all kinds of public Wi-Fis in the stores that I interact with. And then maybe there's a potential of getting Starlink or something like that. And then I was looking into cell phone plans and the phone call part of your cell phone plan is the most expensive part. If you just downgraded and got a mobile hotspot, an unlimited plan, 5G mobile hotspot, you could cut your cell phone bill in half and then use a decentralized application-based cell phone like the Solana Saga cell phone and then use messaging apps and call apps and, and, and uh, video conferencing apps that are all built on Ethereum, on the blockchain. And there's some companies working on that right now. We have Nansen is announcing a messaging app for Web3. And then we also have Huddle01. It is a Web3 native Zoom replacement that is on the Ethereum blockchain. So you can do your video conferencing calls, etc., etc. And that is not all. Solana has a $10 million mobile fund, and you can apply for a grant right now on their website. And what makes this really exciting is all of you Web3 enthusiasts, all of you young blockchain entrepreneurs, they will offer you money if you've got a good idea. This would excite me if I was a scrappy young kid trying to cut my teeth on something. And you know what they need in this Solana cell phone is calls, some kind of Web3 you know, application that will allow me to do phone calls with pre-existing numbers or let me kind of like proxy host my number on a Web3 app of some kind. And I bet you anything there's some kind of capitalistic red tape or brick wall that prevents you from doing something like that. Like the cell phone companies have like a grip on Congress so that like you can't even if you tried, but it'd be worth doing some research on. And there are some companies working on it right now, but the real fantasy that it gets me the most excited is the idea that we could just do everything on the blockchain, all of our social media interactions, all of our uh, video conferencing calls, all of our web calls. No longer will I have to pay for an internet plan and a cell phone plan. I could just downgrade, just do the internet, just get a hotspot, do everything through Web3 on this cell phone. That gets me really excited. Now let's take a little bit of a peekaboo at the cell phone specs here. We have a 6.67 OLED display, very nice. A 512 gigabytes of storage, very nice. 12 gigs of RAM and the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor. So I did a bit of Googling, trying to find a phone in a similar class as this, and I found the Black Shark 5 Pro. It's got 12 gigs of RAM. It's missing the 512 gigabytes of storage. However, it does have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor and a, oh my God, 108 megapixel triple camera system. I did not see any camera specs here on the Saga, although I do see a little bit of a hole punch here for what I hope is a front-facing camera, or maybe that's just the microphone speaker to make phone calls with. Nevertheless, the price of this phone is $900, and the Solana Saga is a pre-order of $100 today and $1,000 total, and it's not shipping until early Q1 2023. There's a couple downsides here. For starters, you're gonna buy this phone, not get it till next year, and it's got last year's technology in it. It's got last year's cell phone chipset in it, so you're already gonna be a behind a year, and it's a little bit more expensive than a comparable phone in a similar category. 
However, the good thing here is you could potentially cut the cord with your cell phone plan. And that's an added bonus every single month that you're not having to pay that cell phone provider. And then the other thing you have to take into consideration is it's got a built-in hardware wallet. So you don't have to go out and buy a Trezor or whatever that costs maybe two, 300 bucks. That's built into the phone. Bow, that is another added bonus. The fun uncle hard, cold hard slap of truth about this cell phone is that there's a lot of hopium here and not a lot of real world use cases for this bad boy. For end users like you and me, there's not a lot we can really do with this phone right now. I do like that Solana is blazing the trail on this technology space. It gives me a lot of hope about what the next five, 10 years in Web3 will look like. We might all be using Web3 based cell phones in the next 10 years. How crazy is that to think about? And I'm just glad that companies like this are blazing the trail. I think the people this phone is meant for are Web3 developers. If you are working for a multi-million dollar development firm that's trying to also blaze trails in the decentralized applications in, in the Web3, then this phone you're probably watering the mouth at. This is something you can get a real world use case for your applications build based on what this cell phone reacts with and then also what the um, threshold for internet use cases are around the world. This is an awesome step forward for the technology, for Web3, for developers, and the decentralized space as a whole. So I'm super excited this is happening, but the real truth of the matter is there's not a lot here for us end users. There's just this hope, dream, and excitement for the Web3 future. Do you like crypto, NFTs, and video games? Well, the Fun Uncle YouTube page is your one-stop shop for all of my content across all networks and platforms. You wanna make sure to hit the link down in the description below and join me today. You do not wanna miss out on any of this content because I work diligently to demystify the complexities of blockchain technology.